safety equipment. You can use hearing protection depending on how noisy your machine is. If necessary, work gloves may be required. Uh, for sanding operations, respirators recommended. And depending on the machine, once again, you might want to use safety glasses or goggles. The Cobalt Tool Chest. It has power strips on the side, which also need to be plugged in for use. The chest is movable that have lockable and unlockable wheels. You press down on the lever to lock the wheel and lift up on the lever to unlock the wheel. In general, you want to look before reaching into any of the drawers and you'll also notice that each drawer is labeled with this inventory. In drawer one, we have hammers and battery chargers. In this drawer, we have tin snips, pliers, and adjustable wrenches. This drawer contains grinding wheels and replacement blades. Here we have calipers used for wood measurement. Here we have a rivet gun, glass cutter, and hand drill. Hand saws, hand planer, and coping saw. C-clamps and your spring clamps. These are pneumatic attachments for the air compressor use. These are safety devices for pushing wood across table saw. Crowbar, pry bar. And here you have a tool belt and a protective blanket to protect whatever you're working on. Tool chest number two. Most tools are hand tools, just pay attention when using. In the first drawer, you have rulers, squares, tape measures, chalk line, and string. You have allen wrenches and punches. In this drawer, you have various wrench sets. hand screwdrivers and bit sets hand files, chisels and scrapers large scrapers and mortar tools and in the bottom you have extension cords and power strips This drawer is empty and ready for future use. Ratchet wrench sets that are currently being used. Drill bits for screwdrivers and drill press. In the bottom you have ratchet straps and an apron. The clamps are located along the back wall and in tool chest 1. F clamps or bar clamps are useful for larger work pieces where a movable arm for course adjustments would be useful. First, make sure that your work piece is secured and glue is applied if necessary. Then move the adjustable arm closer to the work piece and tighten the last portion using the hand screw, making sure not to over tighten to damage the work piece. C clamps are useful for smaller pieces of wood. First, apply any glue if necessary and align the work pieces. Then place your C-clamp into position and begin tightening the screw. You can minimize the time required to do this if you pre-adjust the, the screw to a proper height setting. At the end, you can hand tighten it and make sure not to damage your work piece. Spring clamps are used for projects that need less clamp pressure and quick application. Make sure to align your workpieces and squeeze the clamp in place over the workpiece. Make sure the workpieces are still properly aligned.